Hey guys, and welcome back to Pip Explores. This week, I'm going to be reviewing Green Line Hair. When you ain't got no money. Have two different products from Free Fly that I'm going to be talking about. I actually own these shorts and this shirt in another color as well, but the color doesn't really affect the product. So I just have these to show you guys. So the first product I'm going to be talking about are these shorts. I'm just going to put that over there. So these are the Free Fly Women's Utility Shorts. They have a DWR treatment, which makes them pretty water resistant. There's a partial elastic on the ends here. To help them fit more snugly. They're made out of a performance material which is made up of 49% polyester, 25% bamboo charcoal, 21% nylon, and 5% spandex. They have a 4 inch inseam which is very nice and they quick dry. Let's talk about the specs on this shirt now. Alright so this is the mid-weight long sleeve shirt. It is part of their bamboo move series which means it's got the viscose from the bamboo as well as performance materials like polyester and nylon and all that jazz. Because of the bamboo, this is naturally sun protectant. So it has a UPF of 50, which is like sunscreen, but in clothing. Um, and then it's got this lean cut. So it's like a slim cut, what some people might call like a ladies fit. These shorts come in at a whopping $64.95 at full price. This shirt, is a little cheaper, it's $54.95. So these products are not cheap. Let's talk about how these perform. They're pretty expensive. You know, you wanna hope that they're gonna be good performing items of clothing. So I use these when I went to El Cap, that's why I bought them, and then I also hiked in them a lot. They both have a pretty good fit, it's really comfortable. This is one of the softest things I own. Like I got it and I was like, oh it's so smooth and soft, I never want to take it off. But something I really love about these shorts is that they don't ride up. And so this is still a pretty feminine cut short, like it's not the most feminine, but it's a pretty feminine cut but they're not booty shorts. They have that four inch inseam and they have like pockets, ladies. Like my phone fits in here. If I can figure out how to pocket works. What? Have you ever wanted a pocket that actually holds your entire massive cell phone? Because I found it. They're super comfortable and I love the fact that these aren't like booty shorts. Like they're not hugging my butt cheeks. With this shirt, it's pretty thin thin which is really good because it's like a summer shirt like it's a long sleeve summer shirt and it's meant to be like worn out in this you know the sun so because of this thumb hole here the sleeves are actually long enough to where I could buy a small so it actually fits my entire body proportionately which is super great because I'm tall and I have a lot of limbs and it's just very difficult for me so one thing that wasn't super great was that in the heat the shirt, especially here in Kentucky where we have like high humidity summers, it gets, it sticks to you a bit. It is more of a fitted shirt. So unlike maybe like a Columbia PFG that's like very loose fitting, this is more fitting, which means like it looks a lot cuter, but it also means that in the high humidity, it's kind of unfortunate. When I wore this in California, I didn't have that same problem. It's definitely like a humidity thing but it was just a little closer to my skin than I wanted it. The other thing, so because this is so thin, the light colors, like this pinks in particular, it's a bit see-through. The blue one that I own is not as bad. I also do not care as much, but if your clothes being partially see-through as an issue for you, don't get the light colors. They have like darker colors, like a midnight blue and other colors like that. So I'm sure those are not as bad. Also something kind of funny, um, these are not mosquito proof. You can have this on, mosquitoes will bite you through it. I had like a hundred mosquito bites on my back. The mosquitoes were biting me through my shirt. I actually had blood stains on my blue one that came out in the wash, which was great. It was not great because I had all of these mosquito bites from where they were just biting me straight through my shirt because again, it's a very thin shirt. Has its benefits, also has its drawbacks. To launder these items, you can wash them in a washing machine, but you do have to hang them to dry. Uh, they also have a really good customer service. The one pair of shorts I had, I had taken them out of my bag and I realized there was a hole where the seam had ripped in the butt. And so I emailed customer service and they were like, oh, that's, I'm so sorry about that. 
and they asked for my order number and then sent me a new pair. So that was super awesome. And thank you so much, Freefly. I really appreciated it. I do absolutely love their shorts. I love I love these shorts so much. I have three pairs. It's insane. So that is my review of my Freefly apparel. If you would like to buy some, I will put a link in the description down below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't su subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. Make sure you subscribe, like, share with your friends. Next week, we will have a special Halloween episode. So be sure to tune in for that. And if you want to know in that post, make sure you hit that bell for notifications down there. My name is Piff. This is Piff Explores. We will see you next week. Bye, guys.